Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a great week on House of Games. Three days, three separate winners. Who's going to win that trophy tomorrow? We have no idea as yet. What we do know is it will be one of these four fine folk. They are Tucson Douglas, <laughs> Cherie Murphy, Sean Williams, and Mark Foster. Welcome back, everybody. Tucson a win yesterday. Big win, yeah. For... That was nice. It felt amazing. You you're going you? to hold your head high in the comedy community now again. 100%. And you know, two nights at the B Hotel. It's done Ooh. wonders for me. Oh, yeah. what a I'm, a new, I'm a new man. Cherie, thus far, no wins for you. The other no. three have won one. No, it's, listen, it's fine. Maybe today will be the day. You were in second place going into that final round last time. You've been scoring loads of good points. We'll see. We just need the rounds to fall in the right order. Sean, should we look at the weekly leaderboard? OK. It's good reading for you. Mm-hmm, <laughs> but it's still only Thursday. It is still only Thursday, Sean, but you are top. How about that? By two points from Mark and Tucson. I mean, listen, it's double points Friday tomorrow as well. We can't count our chickens, can we? We cannot. And I know that you wouldn't anyway. I even would if, not. Even and if you were 40 points ahead. I know, and it, we've got a sprinter here. Yeah, Comedians he always do well. And Cherie is just... She's going to be like this today. <laughs> She's going to sit on the buzzer. I like the way you were saying something nice about Mark and you thought, oh, God, now I've got to say something nice about the other two. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. So, Mark, you are a sprinter. You had that, you had that win on day one, but you said, you, you said yourself, you, you start big and then you, you're out of puff. The event was 20 seconds and that, I mean, that show was half an hour, so I was exhausted anyway. But then it's sort of been a little bit downhill from there. And also, I think I might have switched off a little bit thinking, job done, when it's, it, obviously it's not. Oh, I don't believe a word of that, do you? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Nuh -uh. nuh -uh. Should we look at today's prizes? Who would like something here? There's the deck chair, the frisbee, the compost bin, the fondue set, and the sunglasses. Mark Foster. Whoa, frisbee. Uh, oh no, deck chair. Deck chair. Sean. Big chair. Yeah. I'm wavering. Deck chair or fondue set? I mean, it's a that traditional choice. <laughs> fondue. You like fondue? I don't like a fondue. Yeah. Cherie. A deck chair, definitely. Deck I'm just chair. trying to figure out how I'd get it home, though. We'll send it to you. Oh, OK. I we will deck send chair, it to then, you. definitely. Uh, Tucson? I think, um, you know, the old man... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what <laughs> this week. Yeah. He does like his fondue. He's got um, his B-hotel. Yeah, but he is also lactose intolerant. Uh, Is he? Yeah, so I think I'll go for the fondue set. There we go, <laughs> for lactose intolerant Evan Douglas. Should we get on and play Thursday's House of Games? Three winners in three days. Let's see if we can make it four from four, shall we? Our first round is... Highbrow, lowbrow, Tucson, I will start with you. I would ask you two questions. One is a highbrow question, you know, about high art, high culture. The other is a lowbrow one. But the answer is the same. So the same answer is for both questions. If you get it from the highbrow one, I'll give you two points. If you get it from the lowbrow one, I'll give you one point. OK, here's your highbrow question to start with. Considered a masterpiece of modern fiction, The Dead was eventually published in a 1914 collection of short stories by James Joyce that are all set in which city? Yeah, I think we're going to go with the lowbrow. You can just guess a city if you want, if for free. London. London, you're going to say it's incorrect, I'm afraid. We move on to Cherie, it's your... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding you. London, you're saying, let's look at your lowbrow question, see if you want to stick with that. John and Edward Grimes, better known as Jedward, were born in which city? OK, right, OK. You stick okay. with London or change? No, not sticking with London. I feel like they're, like, Irish. I'm going to say Dublin. You're going to say Dublin. Is Dublin the answer to both of those questions? It is Tucson, it is Dublin. <laughs> Jedward and James Joyce. Dublin, the answer to both. Cherie, a highbrow question for you for two points. The Pulitzer Prize winning novel by Michael Cunningham that features characters including Virginia Woolf is titled The What? No idea. Do you want to guess any word at all or should we just go to the lowbrow? Just low go brow? to the lowbrow. We'll go to the lowbrow. Your lowbrow question is this. Ronnie Barker played the owner of a corner shop that had a dangerous till in the sitcom Open All What? Hours. Open All Hours and The Hours. It is hours. I'll play the point to you, Cherie. Sean. Yes. I have a highbrow question for you. OK. The Salix genus of trees and shrubs is more commonly known by what name? Pine. No, that's you don't get a pine shrub, do you? 
I'm just thinking it has to be something that could be the answer to a lowbrow question. L OK. But pine could be, because Chris, there's Chris Pine. Yep. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> not saying... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not saying go for it, because uh, I have no idea. I'm just, OK, uh, OK, I'll go with pine. I say pine, why not? You never know. All right. And your lowbrow question? What is the first name of Will Smith's daughter, who had a oh. UK top ten hit in 2021 with Meet Me at Our Spot? Oh, daughter, daughter. Ivy, no. Oh, that's a Holly, good, way of, good way of thinking. Yeah, thing. Holly, no. Um, Oak, no. Laurel, I could be here all day naming trees. <laughs> I'm Laurel, enjoying it. No. This, is good, yeah. this is good TV. Keep but going. Also, this, 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 this is probably the discussion they had when they were deciding what to call her. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, uh, you know, I know it and I can't reach it in my Should brain. Should we time you out? Anyone else fancy it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Cherie. Willow. Willow. Willow is the answer we were looking for. Oh, Willow. Well done, Cherie. Mark, I have a highbrow question for you. Worth two points if you can get it. The US astronomer and astrophysicist whose 1961 equation is used to estimate the number of detectable extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way was called Frank Who. We could just name a surname, really. What? What? Not, yeah, what? What? OK, let's take a look at your lowbrow question. Which Canadian rapper has had UK number one hits including God's Plan and Nice For What? God's Plan, Nice For What. Uh, Canadian rapper and his name is... Oh! Should we time you out? I'm going to kick myself, aren't I? We will time you out. We've got a buzzer race here between seats one and two. Cherie wins it. Is it Drake? Yeah. Is Drake is exactly what it is. Well played. Scoring very nicely in this round, Cherie. Tucson, we're back with you for a two-pointer. A highbrow question. What was the first name of Winston Churchill's wife, who was created a life peer after his death in 1965? Oh, wow. I don't know it, but I feel like, you know, Winston is of an age, that kind of name. Mm. So I'm going to go with something which feels kind of age appropriate. Yeah. Uh, maybe like a Margaret, perhaps. Or doesn't a... sound crazy. It doesn't sound crazy, does yeah. it? Margaret Churchill. It's got quite a nice yeah. ring to it. Maggie Churchill. <laughs> Maggie Churchill. We must have Winston and Maggie round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll say Margaret. Let's take a look at your lowbrow question, see if you want to keep it or change it. The name of which citrus fruit is also the title of a 1997 UK top ten solo hit for Take That's Mark Owen. OK. So it's not Margaret. I feel like it's Margaret. <laughs> it doesn't feel... <laughs> the name of which citrus fruit? Gosh. Uh... Oh, because Cherie's on it. Everyone's on it. Hey, look at these. Look, yeah, put look. your I'm hands back. I have an answer. I'm, I still might get it, guys. <laughs> Step back from the buzzer. <laughs> I'm not going to get it, but, you, you know, I might... <laughs> All right, citrus fruits. We've got, we've got lemons, we've got oranges. Um, we've... Clementine. Oh. Whoa, surely. Oh. How gutted. Oh. Yeah, keep Close those hands. Yeah. <laughs> is it Clementine? <laughs> it is well done. I could see the moment your heart's broke. <laughs> <laughs> Very well played, Cherie. A two-pointer for you now. Eventually published posthumously, Charlotte Bronte's first completed novel, which was inspired by her time as a student and teacher in Brussels, is called The What? should probably know this. Hmm. I don't think so. No. <laughs> no I, mean, I, mean, I mean, you shouldn't have to know it. It's, no, it's not, it's not but... Mm, I'll probably kick myself, but no. I'll go for the lowbrow. Lowbrow. What word precedes the letter X in the superhero name of the comic book and film character Charles Xavier? I'm looking to see people on buzzers. Foster's sort of... Is he on the buzzer there? No. Hard to tell sometimes with his technique. Not watch that, man. Should we time you out? So it's a character, so, yeah. yeah. Character, no, yeah. I don't know. OK. Who's <laughs> on? Professor? Professor oh. X and the Professor. Professor, the answer we're looking for. Some big scoring from this end of the studio, I'll say that. Sean, I yes. have a, a two-point opportunity for you. Okay. OK. If you can imagine such a thing. Oof. Claire Foy and Matt Smith starred in a 2019 Old Vic production of which Duncan Macmillan play about parenthood and climate change? I haven't got that at all. No, nope, should we go no, straight to lowbrow? Yeah, let's go to lowbrow. Let's go lowbrow. Which 2009 album by Florence and the Machine shares its title with the name of a pair of organs in the human body? Lungs. Lungs? 
Here's Ooh. Mark. Oh, well played. Thank you. Nicely done. Mark, we finish off the round with you. A two-pointer possible here. In a journal of the plague year, Daniel Defoe refers to people writing which word in the form of a triangle in a fruitless attempt to ward off the disease? Hmm. Um, I'd love help. to know what was going through your head as you were doing the... I know, I, I thought a three-letter word I was, what I was thinking of, first of all. Oh, OK. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Nothing coming from you. Uh, and then I'm thinking... I, I, I love the fact you think I know the <laughs> answer to this. I was just thinking, help. <laughs> I'll go for help. Let's look at the one-point question, see if you want to stick with help. Which word, often used by magicians, was also the title of an 80s hit for the Steve Miller Band? Abracadabra. Abracadabra. You've annoyed Sherry there. It is Abracadabra. Well done. Phew. Round one over. Everybody off the mark. But let's see how many points they have each got. Sean and Mark, you have got one point each. Our joint leaders, Tucson and Cherie, have got three points each. How about that? <laughs> Not bad going, is it? Let's play round two straight away, shall we? It is. All of the details of Pairs Game. Sean, I don't think you've chosen a partner yet this week. Who would you like to play with? I feel loyal towards Mark. We're going to stick to the same team? Yeah, because it's been all week so far. Exactly. Sean and Mark are a team. Cherie and Tucson are a team now. Before the shows, you all filled in some clues with something to do with geography. Toussaint, before the show, Cherie filled in some clues, which hopefully will lead you to a river. A river, but which river? You have up to three words to fill in these, uh, these clues. Your first clue is this. It appears in the title of, according to Cherie, a famous song. OK. Its name can be translated as A, according to Cherie, 80s song. <laughs> See where this is going. <laughs> it shares its name with, according to Cherie, a womble. Okay, Ooh. I got it. That's good. Ah, oh, this is. These are good clues. Objectively, I can tell these are good clues. I just it. It's not coming to me in terms of what it is. Most obviously, what the answer is. Yeah, I don't. I, you didn't grow up with the wombles. I know of the Wombles, for sure. They seem like lovely chaps, but I don't, I don't know them by name. Um, so I'm just going to have to go with just a river, which I think uh, it could be. Nile? Nile? <laughs> Not. We don't pass it across, but for fun, would you know this one? I, I'm, I my was like Uncle Bulgaria. I was trying to think of Wombles. Yeah, my Womble knowledge is not there today. Can I get it? Go on, go you get it. it. Orinoco. Orinoco. Yeah. And <laughs> Orinoco <laughs> Flow, the Enya song, right? Yes. Yeah. It appears in the title of a famous song by Enya. Its name can be translated as a place to paddle and it shares its name with a womble. Absolutely right. Great clues. Unlucky there, Sean. Mm -hmm. Before the show, Mark filled in some clues. Mm -hmm. And they will lead you to a country. OK. All other things being equal. Your clues <laughs> look like this. Its national animal is, according to Mark, Big Cat. Hmm. I always like the use of a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> laugh over there. I'm His popular about. sports include, according to Mark, cricket. And its notable buildings include, according to Mark, Taj Mahal. OK. Well, I'll go with India. It's got to be India, Mark. It's got to be India. Well played. Nicely well done. Well done. Good. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> Amazing clues. Taj Mahal, of course, cricket, national sport. And the national animal? Bengal tiger. You were right. How about that? Great I'm clues. Sure Nicely done. Uh, now, Cherie, before the show, Toussaint filled in some clues. And hopefully, they will take you to a city. Okay. A city, but which city? It is associated with the, according to Toussaint, Rocky. It's associated with the Rocky. It is the home city of, according to Toussaint, <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I could. I saw that crash coming from a mile off. <laughs> Uh, and your final clue, it's it is famous, famous for, according to Tucson, <laughs> Rocky. Yes. So your answers are Rocky, Rocky 2 and Rocky 3. <laughs> oh, God, this, I know this, but I can't, like, literally... Think of the famous scene. I know, I can see it. I've watched the film so many times growing up. Um, I'm going to have to pass. Yep. I'm so annoyed with myself. Anyone though. on the other team? Oh, I think it's Philadelphia. Yeah, I think... Philadelphia? It is Philadelphia. <laughs> Unlucky. Associated with the Declaration of Independence, all sorts of things, but Rocky. Rocky, Rocky essentially answers all those questions. Mark, 
before the show, Sean filled in some clues. Oh. Uh, and they'll lead you to a landmark. A but which landmark? <laughs> according to legend, it was built by, according to Sean, huge <laughs> men. <laughs> A similar landmark exists on the, according to Sean, top of Beanstalk. OK. And it is situated on the north coast of, according to Sean, Ireland. Ah. Uh. Mm. Yes. No, no, <laughs> the ah. Uh. You know, huge men. Giant's Causeway. Giant's Causeway. Well worked out. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. 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 I have to say, Sean, that was not looking promising for a while. <laughs> <laughs> top thinking, of beanstalk. I mean, huge, Egypt. Huge men, I'm thinking, pyramid. Um, <laughs> top of the beanstalk, what's at the top of that castle? Uh, well done, Giant's oh, Causeway. Well done. Nicely played. According to legend, it was built by Finn McCool. A similar landmark exists on the Isle of Staffa and absolutely Northern Ireland, in fact, the, uh, the north coast of. But uh, great clues, great answering. That's the end of that rat. A mixed bag of a round, yeah. that one, I would say. Some nice clues, though. Let's see our leaderboard. Oh, you're going to like this leaderboard. Take a look at this. Three, three, Ooh, three, three. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Nice, isn't it? Wow. Isn't that nice? Yeah, we might have just started now, then, really. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Let's edit all of that out. <laughs> Welcome to House of Games. Everyone's got three points for reasons you don't need to go into. <laughs> there was stuff about wombles and uh, pyramids, nice. huge, huge men and pyramids, all sorts going on. Uh, our next round today is... <laughs> Bowel and movement. Fingers on buzzers, please. I want you to tell me what connects a series of words. OK, what connects them? The only thing is, we have changed the vowels in all of those words to different vowels. OK, so you have to work out what the words are and then what connects them. Mm -hmm. So here are some words with the vowels swapped around. Agiono. Tumoloine. Goku. Kimidi Drugin. Yes, Sean. Are they reptiles? Are they reptiles? Yeah, I'll give you that. They're all lizards, yeah. Agiono is iguana. Chamoloin is chameleon. Goku Gecko. Kimidi Drugin, Komodo Dragon. You see how it works? Next four, what connects these, please? Fizzo Lego. Flops. Lendangoa. Kickput. Yes, Sean. Are they parts of a plane? Oh, I think they might be parts of an aircraft. Fizzle Lego, fuselage, flops, flaps, landing goer, landing gear. Thank you. Kickbutt, cockpit, well played, Sean. Next ones, what connects these? Sick. Riley. Woolbiru. Ig and Speen. Sean. Are they children's games, like sack race, wheelbarrow race? So races, we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> they are good. Races. Races. Yeah, yeah, races. Sack race, relay race, wheelbarrow race and egg and spoon race. <laughs> well done. <laughs> uh, next four, what connects these? Mizai. Bila. Gorbal. Balvar. Yes. Yes, Cherie. Football? Football? <laughs> it is like <laughs> Messi and Villa, I suppose, yeah, aren't there? Yes, Sean. Rodents. Are they rodents? <laughs> they are rodents. Sorry, please, <laughs> Mouse, <laughs> bull, gerbil and beaver. Next four. Pachele. Tobe. Flotter. Yes, Sean. Wind instruments? They're all wind instruments. Piccolo, tuba, flute and bassoon we were looking for. Next four. Mulberia. Rijo. Nippy Villoy. Yes, Jerry. Uh, wines? They wines. They wine regions, absolutely. Rioja, Napa Valley, Marlborough. Chomponga would have been champagne. Final question you'd be horrified to hear in this round. The Mapot Christmas Kirill. 
Well, I think we know what it is, but what's the connection between the other three, Mark? I don't know. <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm just getting for them. Uh, Christmas, it's going to be Christmas Carol. It's going to be um, um, Christmas songs. Christmas songs? Sorry. <laughs> Not, oh, <laughs> yes, Sean. Is it Dickens novels? I don't think it, I don't think Dickens wrote the Muppets Christmas Carol. <laughs> oh, is it the Muppets Christmas Carol? <laughs> Two songs. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> Is, Love everybody. It, is it Christmas films? <laughs> oh, is it Christmas films? <laughs> it is. Kumo, Aluno, Home Alone, Alf, Elf, Wetto, <laughs> Smith and White, Christmas. That is Christmas films. Well played. <laughs> Tucson, final point in that round. We are done for that round. You'd be <laughs> only mortified to hear. To say it. Well done for buzzing enough to just one, though. <laughs> that game was well, hard. The connection. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Two rounds to go on Thursday's House of Games. Great round for Sean. We were all tied before then. We're definitely not all tied now. Four point lead for Sean Williams. Oh, thank How about you. that? How about that? Two rounds to go. Can Sean hang on for a second win of the week? Let's find out. <laughs> name tag. Now, in this round, I'll ask you a question. There will be a name somewhere in the answer. You have to give me the answer, but replace the name with the name of one of your fellow competitors. I will then ask them the next question. So ensure you uh, send the question on to somebody who you don't mind scoring points. Here's your first one. Which cocktail made with vodka and tomato juice gets its name from the nickname of a Tudor queen? Yes, Mark. Bloody Cherie. Bloody Cherie. That's the right answer. Bloody Mary becomes Bloody Cherie. And, Cherie, you get the next question. OK. In which 1971 film does Clint Eastwood play a police officer hunting a killer known as Scorpio? I don't know. Should we time you out? Time me out. Not on the buzzers? <laughs> that is Mark. Dirty Cherie. Dirty Cherie? <laughs> bloody Cherie and Dirty Cherie. Cherie, you get the next question. It's rude. Sorry. Oh, dear. Cherie, this one is for you. What is the common name for the projection at the front of the neck that is formed by the thyroid cartilage of the larynx? Sean's apple. Sean, Sean, you get the next question. Adam's apple becomes Sean's apple. Sean, here's your question. <laughs> I'd be fascinated to see where Sean gives her, uh, <laughs> goes next with hers. <laughs> Sean, which rail route built by Crossrail and named after a UK monarch opened in southern England in May 2022? Cherie Line. <laughs> the Cherie Line? Giving it back. It <laughs> is. The Elizabeth Line is the Cherie Line. We're hearing your name a lot, Cherie. I know. <laughs> Next one. Jason Donovan, Lee Mead and Philip Schofield have all played the title role in which Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber musical? Toussaint and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Toussaint and his Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> Uh, Tucson, it's your question now. Which TV series starring Bob Odenkirk as a corrupt lawyer is a spin-off from Breaking Bad? Mark's on it. I've not watched it. Should we time you out? Yeah, time you out. got a out. buzzer race between all three. Mark wins it. Call Cherie. Incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> yes, Cherie. Better call Mark. Better call Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Better Call Saul becomes Better Call Mark. <laughs> Final question of the round. So, Mark, you can get a point. You can also uh, give a point to whoever's name you mention here. Cool. Which band had a 2008 UK number one single titled Sex on Fire? Kings of Cherie. Kings of Cherie? Oh. It is. Kings of Leon becomes Kings of Cherie. A point to both of you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and that is the end of that round. We only have one round to go on Thursday's House of Games. I think Sean is still going to be in the lead. I think that lead would have been cut back there by uh, yeah. tactical playing in that round, as always. Let's take a look, shall we? Tussar has four. Mark has six. Cherie has eight. Ooh. Sean has nine. A one-point lead. <laughs> shall we play our final round? Yes. It is, of course. Answer, smash fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Uh, Sean is currently in the lead, looking for a second win of the week, but everyone is pretty close. Cherie, just one point off the lead, looking for her first win of the week. Your first category is... Film characters. 
which domestic video format released by Sony in 1975 was superseded by VHS? Mark. Peter Maximus. Is correct. Well done. Peter Maximus. Yeah, Peter Maxim Maximus. Well played, Mark. Next question, next character. What is the first name of the cellist with the surname Ma who was included in Time magazine's list of the 100 most influential people of 2020? Yes, Toussaint. Yoda. Incorrect, I'm afraid. You lose a point. Yes, Sean. Is it Yo Yoda? Yo Yoda is what we're looking for. Unlucky Toussaint. Well played, Sean. Yo Yo Ma and Yoda. Next question, next character. Which Trinidadian cricketer scored a first class run record of 501 not out while playing for Warwickshire in 1994? Yes, Toussaint. Brian Lara Croft. Brian Lara Croft. It is Brian Lara Lara Croft. Brian Lara Croft, next category. Birds, those are your pictures. Who played the title character in the 2001 film, Amelie? No one. Let's take a look. Audrey Tattoo Can. Audrey Tattoo and Toucan. Audrey Tattoo Can. Next clue, next bird. Which US author wrote the novels It, Cujo and Salem's Lot? Yes, Sean. Stephen Kingfisher. Stephen Kingfisher is absolutely right. Stephen King and Kingfisher. Any more for any more? <laughs> we are done. Oh. We're done. I tell you what, Sean, they, <laughs> anyone, you? they did their best in round four to catch you up. <laughs> so, it works. You had the last laugh. Let's take a look. On Monday, Mark was our champion. Tuesday, it was Sean. Wednesday, Tucson. On Thursday, of course, it is Sean Williams. Once again, a second win of the week. Thank you. Well Thank played. You second win of the week, second prize of the week as well. Which of these would you like? Oh, do you know, now I've seen the deck chair, I'm thinking deck chair. Deck chair, Sean Williams wins a house Thank against you. deck chair. Congratulations, Sean. One more day to go. It is double points Friday tomorrow. Eight yeah. points for a win, six for a second and so on. Let's take a look at the leaderboard going into it. Sean is going to take some catching, but she can be caught. Just yeah. four point lead there. Tucson the Sherry. You can, well, there's eight points up for grabs. There's eight points, a lot of points tomorrow, but looking good, Sean, at the moment. Well, you can lose it all on a Friday. You <laughs> oh, you can lose it all on a Friday. Oh, you certainly yeah. can. Oh, yeah. You certainly can. Well, we look forward to seeing whether you do or you don't. Look forward to seeing if anyone can catch Sean. Very well played today. See you all here tomorrow for the final. See you here as well for the final tomorrow on the House of Games. <laughs>